Chapter 1 What is a desert? A desert is a dry place that has less than 25 centimeters of rain every year. Some deserts have no rain for months or years. Some deserts have sand, but others have stones or rocks. Some deserts are in the mountains. In the day, temperatures in hot deserts are usually from 20 to 35 degrees centigrade but temperatures can be more than 50 degrees. At night, the air gets very cold. Sometimes, it's less than zero degrees. Most cold deserts are warm in summer, but they are very cold in winter. In summer, temperatures are usually from 21 to 26 degrees centigrade. In winter, they are usually from 2 to 4 degrees. Most of the water in cold deserts comes from snow or fog. It doesn't come from rain, it snows in Antarctica, but this only makes about 5 centimeters of water every year. It's the biggest and coldest desert on Chapter 2, Different Deserts, More than 20% of the land on Earth is desert. There are many different deserts, the Sahara Desert, in North Africa is the biggest hot desert on Earth. It's 9 million square kilometers, that's about as big as the USA. The Sahara has sand dunes, rocks, and mountains. Some of the sand dunes are 180 meters tall. The Sahara has very strong winds that make big sandstorms. The sandstorms can take plants and animals into the air. The Atacama Desert is in Peru and Chile. It's not very hot, and it's one of the oldest and driest deserts on Earth. It has less than one millimeter of rain every year. Scientists think that at one time, it didn't rain here for 400 years. There aren't many deserts in Europe. There's one small desert in Spain. It's called the Tabernus Desert. The Gobi Desert is in Mongolia and China. It's 1,300,000 square kilometers and it's in the mountains. Most of the land is rock. It's one of the coldest deserts on Earth. In winter, the temperature can be minus 40 degrees centigrade. Chapter 3, Plants, Deserts are very dry places, but plants can still grow there. Desert plants collect and use water in special ways. The cactus has big roots, so it can collect water fast when it rains. It stores water in its stem for when there isn't any rain. Many cactus plants have spikes. The spikes also collect water and they stop animals eating the plant. There are about 1,200 different types of plant in the Sahara Desert. The Welwitchia plant gets water from fog, the leaves collect the water and it goes down into the soil. Then the plant takes up the water with its roots. The baobab tree grows in the deserts in Africa and Australia. It can store thousands of liters of water. Some baobab trees are more than 9 meters across. Desert people can drink the water from this tree. The seeds of many desert plants can stay in the soil for a long time. When it rains, they grow fast and produce flowers. Then they die, but they leave seeds for the next time it rains. Chapter 4 Animals It's hard to live in the desert. But deserts are homes for many different animals. Insects, like ants, can live underground when it's hot. They put their eggs underground, too. Insects are important because bigger animals need them for food. Spiders and scorpions are arachnids. Many desert arachnids are poisonous. They use their poison to catch insects and other small animals. Mammals are animals that drink milk from their mother when they are young. Many desert mammals can live for days with no water because they can get water from plants. 
Desert jerboas make water in their body when they eat dry seeds and roots, reptiles, like snakes, lizards, and desert tortoises, have a thick skin. This helps their body to save water. Most reptiles get food and water from other animals, but desert tortoises eat plants, some deserts even have fish. Pupfish live in small rivers in the deserts in North America. Chapter 5 Day and Night In deserts around the world, different animals come out at different times, reptiles come out in the morning to get warm in the sun. Lizards lie on rocks to get warm. They lie in the shade when it's too hot. Desert tortoises look for food in the morning. At night, they stay in their burrows so that they are warm and safe from other animals. Many desert birds also come out in the day. In the morning, they look for spiders, insects, and seeds. Most desert animals sleep in the day and come out at night. Many small animals sleep in burrows. Bigger animals, like foxes, sleep in big holes called dens. At night, scorpions look for food. Scorpions have tiny hairs on their legs. The hairs help the scorpions to feel other animals moving. Some animals, like desert cats and owls, have special eyes to help them to see well at night. Owls can also hear very well, so they know when animals are moving. Chapter 6 People About 13% of all the people in the world live in deserts. Some people lived in deserts a long time ago. Aborigines were the first people of Australia. They lived in the deserts in Australia more than 40,000 years ago. Aborigines use art to tell stories. Many Aborigines live in cities today, but some are going back to their traditional life in the desert. Tuareg people lived in the Sahara Desert more than 2,000 years ago. They are called the blue people because of the color of their clothes. Traditional Tuaregs travel across the desert on camels. They live in tents made from animal skins and wood. Many Tuaregs have farms and others work in cities, Bedouin people lived in the deserts hundreds of years ago. They live in the Middle East and North Africa. Traditional Bedouins are traveling farmers. They live in tents or mud houses. Today, many Bedouins work in cities. Some Bedouins make and sell things. Chapter 7 Water in the Desert Deserts are very dry places, but all deserts have some water. An oasis is a place where water from under the ground makes a lake or pond. Some oases are small, but some are very big. The Siwa Oasis in Egypt is 80 kilometers long and 20 kilometers across. About 23,000 people live here. Some deserts have rivers. The Nile River travels through the Sahara Desert. Many people live near this river. They can catch fish and use the water for farming. In some deserts, there are big rainstorms. Then there's no more rain for a long time. So it's very important to collect rainwater. In the Thar Desert, people collect water in ponds, wells, and big tanks, people in some cold deserts use nets to collect the water from fog. Each net can catch about 14 liters of water every day. Chapter 8 Staying cool Many people and animals live in hot deserts. They have different ways to stay cool. Desert people use their clothes and houses to stay cool. Bedouin and Tuareg people wear long clothes to protect them from the hot sun and the wind. They wear a head cloth to protect their head and face. People in deserts build houses with small windows so that it stays cool inside. This keeps out the sun and also the wind. 
Some desert houses have no windows. Many big desert animals stay in a cool place in the day. Oryxes make a cool hole to sit in, or they sit in the shade. Some desert lizards are called sand swimmers. When it's hot, these lizards swim under the sand to stay cool. Some animals, like crocodiles, snakes, and frogs, sleep in the hottest parts of summer. Other animals, like desert tortoises, sleep in winter in cold deserts. Chapter 9 Living in the Desert Living in the desert is very different from living in a city, but people still cook, travel, and go to school. Most desert people eat bread, porridge, milk, cheese, and food from desert plants. They cook their food on a fire outside their home. Dates grow well in deserts. Dates with cheese is traditional Tuareg food. Every year, there's a festival in the Sahara Desert, near Timbuktu in Mali. There are three days of music, dancing, and camel racing. Today, many desert people drive SUVs, but camels are better for traveling across sand. Camels can travel more than 40 kilometers in a day. They are strong animals. Desert people can use camels to carry food, tents, and other things from their homes. A long time ago, only a few desert children went to school, but this is changing. In the deserts in Australia, Aborigines are building new schools. Students speak their own language and they also learn English. Chapter 10, Desertification, Deserts are getting bigger. Every year, the land around many deserts gets dry and changes into new desert. This is called desertification. The land can get too dry when there's no rain for a long time. Sometimes people also make the land dry. When there are too many farms in one place, Animals eat all the plants, and the soil blows away. Then new plants can't grow and there isn't food for everyone. Desertification is a big problem in countries in Africa near the Sahara Desert. In 50 years, these countries have lost 650,000 square kilometers of land. That's about the same size as France. Millions of people here are hungry because they can't grow food in the desert, how can people help to stop desertification? In many countries, people are growing more trees. Trees stop the soil blowing away. In China, people are using a wall of trees to stop desertification near the Gobi Desert. The wall is 4,000 kilometers long. Chapter 1 Mini Beasts A mini beast is a small animal with no backbone. It's an invertebrate. There are many different types of mini beast. Scientists put them into different groups. The biggest group is the arthropods. Arthropods have six or more legs. Some arthropods are insects. Insects have six legs. There are more than one million types of insect. Some examples are bees, beetles, ants, flies, and grasshoppers. Some arthropods are arachnids. Arachnids have eight legs. Scorpions and spiders are arachnids. Some arthropods are myriapods. They have lots of legs. Centipedes and millipedes are myriapods. Centipedes have two legs on each body section. Millipedes have four legs on each body section. Some mini beasts don't have legs. Snails and slugs don't have legs. They are mollusks. Earthworms and leeches don't have legs. Their bodies have lots of sections. They are annelids. Which mini beasts do you know? Chapter 2 Insect bodies Most insect bodies have three parts, a head, a thorax, 
and an abdomen. The head has eyes and a mouth. The thorax has legs and wings. Insects don't have any bones, but they have a hard cover. This hard cover is called an exoskeleton. Insects grow, but their exoskeleton can't grow. When an exoskeleton is too small, it comes off. Then the insect grows a new, bigger exoskeleton. Insects can use their bodies to hide from birds and other animals. They don't want the other animals to eat them. This is called camouflage. Some insects have bright colors. Animals don't eat any insect that is black, white, and red. It isn't usually good to eat. Sometimes it's poisonous. Chapter 3 Insect Senses Most insects have two very big eyes. They can't see clearly, but they can see things move very well. Some insects have extra eyes that can only see light and dark. Some mini-beasts have antennae on their head. They use their antennae to feel and touch things. They can also smell food and other mini-beasts with their antennae. Butterflies have a very long tongue called a proboscis. They use their tongue to taste and drink nectar in flowers. Butterflies can also taste with their feet. Most insects don't have ears on their head. Do you know where they are? They have ears on their body or their legs. Crickets have ears on their front legs. Chapter 4 Communication Most male and female mini-beasts communicate with each other because they need to make new, baby mini-beasts. Some mini-beasts communicate with sound. Grasshoppers can sing. They move their legs up and down to make a singing sound. Some mini-beasts communicate with smell. The female moth makes strong smells called pheromones. The male moth can smell the female with its antennae. The male emperor moth can smell a female 10 kilometers away. Some mini-beasts communicate with light. Fireflies can make light with their abdomen. Male and female fireflies flash their lights to each other. Some mini-beasts communicate to give each other information. Bees dance to tell other bees where there is food. Ants touch each other's antennae or head to give information about food or danger. Chapter 5 Baby Mini-Beasts Most baby mini-beasts come from eggs. Some mini-beasts, like slugs and earthworms, lay their eggs in soil. Other mini-beasts, like butterflies and beetles, lay their eggs on plants. Scorpions don't lay eggs. They have live babies. The baby scorpions travel on their mother's back. The babies of some flying insects look like their parents, but they don't have any wings. Baby grasshoppers don't have any wings. They grow wings when they get bigger. Some babies are larvae. Beetle, butterfly, and bee babies are larvae. After a few weeks, they become pupae. Then they become insects with wings, like their parents. Chapter 6 Working Insects Some insects work together in groups. Leafcutter ants work together. First they find leaves. They carry the leaves to their nest. Fungus grows from the leaves, and then the ants eat the fungus. Leafcutter ants are very strong. They can carry leaves that are about 50 times heavier than their bodies. Honeybees work together, too. One queen bee lays all the eggs. Then the female worker bees care for the bee larvae. They look for food, they make honey from nectar, and they give honey to the bee larvae. They keep the honey in honeycombs inside the hive. The worker bees also clean the hive. Chapter 7 Mini Beast Homes Some mini beasts, like earthworms and ants, 
live underground, and others live in water. Dragonflies lay their eggs on leaves in the water. Their larvae live underwater, snails carry their home on their back. They live in many different places. Land snails live in deserts, mountains, forests, and gardens. Marine snails live in the ocean, lots of mini-beasts make nests. Some wasps make nests from wasp paper. They make the paper from wood and saliva. The queen wasp lays eggs in the nest. The nest has lots of small rooms for the wasp larvae. Wasps attack other animals to protect their nest. A wasp nest can have about 10,000 wasps inside. Chapter 8 Spiders Spiders have two body parts and eight legs. They have six or eight eyes. All spiders can make silk. Some spiders use the silk to make webs. Insects fly into the web. Then the spider eats the insects, some spiders hunt. The wolf spider hides in leaves. Then it jumps out and catches insects, mice, and frogs. A spider can only eat liquid food. It bites an animal with a poison that makes the animal liquid inside. Then the spider drinks the liquid. Female spiders are often much bigger than male spiders. The golden orb female spider can have a body up to ten times bigger than the male. Chapter 9 Problems with mini-beasts Some mini-beasts can sting. The part that can sting is called a stinger. A wasp and an ant can sting again and again. A bee can only sting once. Then it dies, other mini-beasts can bite. Some spiders have a poisonous bite, and other animals can die from this poison. A person can die from the bite of a black widow spider, only female mosquitoes bite. Many beasts can also make people sick. They can bite people and give them diseases. Mosquitoes can give people a very bad disease called malaria. Some mini beasts make problems for farmers. Locusts are a type of grasshopper. They eat a lot of food crops. Other mini-beasts make problems in our homes. Some moths eat clothes, and some beetles eat wood. Chapter 10, Useful Mini-Beasts Mini-beasts are important food for many other animals. Fish, frogs, bats, and birds eat mini-beasts. Insects help plants grow. Insects visit different flowers to collect food. The pollen from one flower sticks to the body of the insect. When the insect goes to another flower, the pollen falls onto this flower. The flower uses this pollen to make seeds. Then a new plant grows. This is called pollination. Earthworms help soil and plants. When they move through the soil, they let air and water in. Plant roots need the air and water. Bees give us honey and silkworms give us silk. Silkworms make silk cocoons when they become pupae. People use silkworm cocoons to make silk fabric. Many beasts are amazing. They are also very useful. People, animals, and plants.